Really both, and I guess everybody agrees, there has been tremendous development regarding development of nighttime materials, uh, instrument designs, the way we are using them. And yet, it's, uh, as you point out, it's very important to uh, remember that uh, instrumentation is a facilitator. Instrumentation is creating possibilities for us to do uh, effective irrigation and disinfection and uh, closer to the end of the treatment also high quality root filling. Is and that we should take these images as a positive motivation for us. We have to create a good pathway into the root canal system and that's what we do with the instrumentation. After that we have to go to work and do effective disinfection and irrigation with our uh, uh, irrigation solutions. I would like to show you just a couple of beautiful SEMs uh, from Franklin Tace Group from University of Georgia. Uh, the lower one uh, on the left side shows uh, clearly untouched area. We can see some predent in there and necrotic pulpa remnants. And on the right side, in the same image, we can see smear layer. The area is flat, so instruments have really touched this area, but we can't see any dent in a tubule, so it's still smeared. On the slide, on the right-hand side, we have made some progress. The uh, organic matter has obviously been removed from all areas by sodium hypochlorite. And some of the smear layer has been removed, but some still seems to be there. So we are making progress, but we haven't yet reached the goal of irrigation. But uh, this is not enough uh, for me and uh, most of our colleagues, because we know that bacteria may still be hiding uh, in the dentin, and we would like to do the final rinse. We would like to do the third irrigation of the root canal. Uh, the, and we have been using hypochlorite and we have been using uh, uh, chlorhexidine for this. Uh, there are increasing number of reports that the problem of coming back to hypochlorite may be that uh, it may weaken dentine. If we have long-term exposure to hypochlorite after EDTA, it will uh, tremendously change negatively the structural strength of dentin. And if you have short-term exposure, just uh, even 30 seconds, one minute exposure to hypochlorite after EDTA or citric acid, we are causing surface erosion of root canal wall dentin. Even though we don't know today how potentially harmful this surface erosion is, and how deep it can go. We do know that it can go uh, at least 100 microns, but how much more we don't know and what's really the uh, impact. It's something that we would rather be without. So, so basically, uh, it would be great if we could do this without any negative impact on dentin and optimally actually avoid the third irrigation. What is the possibility of actually creating uh, a, a solution that can do it all, that, that can give me exactly what I want, get that smear layer out of there, uh, kill my bacteria, uh, create a clean surface, and, and it's, it's not going to cause the erosion that you so beautifully portray. As a clinician, I'd love to have something like that. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, my thought is that uh, actually the last several years this uh, particular challenge has been the focus of my research activities uh, very much and uh, really to get rid of the smear layer, but at the same time be very effective against the residual microorganisms which still have escaped the effects of uh, bleach. And uh, I'm very glad and happy to be able to tell you that uh, uh, now we have the solution we have been successful in our research and development, and now we have a product which will uh, answer the challenge. Here it is. Uh, the product is Qmix 2-in-1, and uh, the goals were to have a product that does what EDTA does, and we have it, to have a product that at the same time kills bacteria effectively, and we were able to do that. And the third goal is that it should be simple and easy to use to your site.
So Marcus, what you're telling me, you've, you've accomplished your goal. Um, you, you are giving to us, the clinicians, uh, this solution that can remove the smear layer. Uh, we can gain access to the bacteria. Uh, we're kind to the dentin. And we've accomplished all these fantastic uh, ideas that we had uh, with one solution and one application, which is, I think, unbelievable for the clinician. But interestingly enough, what you've come up with now, we can achieve all of our goals from disinfecting to removal of smear layer, uh, not worrying about staining, and can be used uh, in conjunction with the sodium hypochlorite. I think this is fantastic. Uh, well, what a breakthrough. Uh, and I think the clinicians out there uh, are, are really grateful to uh, uh, have this uh, available to them and to all your efforts and the continuing efforts to uh, ensure that this is at the highest uh, level of quality possible. Now, if you take a look at chair sign handling, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, what's really positive, it's pre-mixed, it's ready to use, has a good shelf life. The time frame is very small. Now, added to that, personally in my own practice, especially in pulps that are necrotic, I go ahead and uh, do some agitation. For example, uh, just using, uh, for example, the endo activator to do some sonic agitation, uh, 30 seconds or so, and then add an additional amount of the uh, Q-mix to the canal. I feel that, uh, with a tremendous level of confidence that I am really achieving those goals that, we're t that we've been talking about right down the line. And so, Go ahead, the protocol, you mix it with your instruments, uh, canal, irrigate with sodium hypochlorite. you can rinse that with water or saline, and then follow with minimal two millimeters of uh, Q-mix, dry your canal and obturate. It couldn't be simpler to achieve the magnification that we are with this type of product.